The problem is you. You want to know why people hate you so much? You a problem. Mm-hmm. You a problem and they mad. They can't take it. like this video so you can help me get my watch hours up and you can get this video circulating thank you i appreciate it now we're gonna get right into it number five and we're starting at number five so you can make sure you watch the whole thing i got faith in you i think you can make it to the end i do i do i think you could do it you yeah i'm talking to you thanks i think you can make it to the end number five is you know the real them and they are afraid that you're going to expose them so that's why when people wrong you they have to rush and tarnish your name. Basically, they want to get you before you get them. And whole time, you weren't even thinking about that. Whole time, you focused on your life and getting yourself together because you got somewhere to go. And I'm hoping when I get there, I see everyone I know. I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. I got sidetracked. But yeah, they want to rush and tarnish your name before you get them. So they gotta get you before you get them. And that's that. Number four is they may have came to you and you gave them some advice that rubbed them the wrong way. You told them something that they didn't want to hear and then whatever you predicted about a situation, it could have came true and they like, now they feel some type of way. Even though whatever information you gave them had nothing to do with you, it only had something to do with them and whatever they asked. But at the end of the day, if it rubbed them the wrong way, they're going to be like, uh-uh, you the problem. It's you. It's never them. It's always you. So, yeah, that's number four. <laughs> that's number four. Number three is they want to highlight all your problems so that it makes their problems seem small or even non-existent. That's number three. So they got to make you a bigger problem. They got to make your life a bigger issue so that it appears that they do no wrong. That's number three. That's why they don't like you. At number two, so go ahead and subscribe. And if you agree with any of the points I've made thus far, go ahead and share as well. <laughs> number two is no matter how many times they try to knock you down, you just keep getting back up. I keep throwing rocks at her. She keep going out. And then she got the nerve to heal. Like, what? <laughs> knock me down nine times, I'm gonna get up ten, bitch. I didn't mean to say that. <clears throat> Knock me down nine times, I'm going to get up ten. Uh -huh. That's number two. They keep trying to knock you down, you keep getting back up. And guess what? guess what my advice is to you? My advice to you is to keep getting up. Number one is they see you living life, doing what you want to do, moving how you want to move, living how you want to live, and you making it look easy. And they like, how? How? After all you've been through, and sometimes after all I've put you through, after all I put you through, you still successful? I don't get it. I throw so many obstacles at you. So many obstacles at you. And you keep flourishing. I hate her. I hate him. I hate him so much that he's living the life that I want to live and I can't. Take it. <laughs> and my final advice to you at the end of this video is live your life. Live your life. Stop letting people tell you how to live. Live your life how you want to live. Because people are going to be mad at you if you don't live your life how they want you to live. They, how they want you to live your life. Whole time they living their life the way they don't want to live their life. Some people try to talk you into a life that they live in and they miserable in it. Why would you try to talk me into a miserable life that you're living? You don't even like your life, but you want me to be like you. Why would I do that? So that's that. <laughs> that's the end of this video. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.